Bonjour from Paris, France. Today's theme is going to be views of Paris. I'm going to take you to several locations that offer you beautiful views of the city. The first place I'm going to go is to the Arc de Triomphe and I'm going to climb to the top of it. I've never gone up to the top of it before so this will be a first for me and I'm going to show you the beautiful views of the Champs-Élysées from up there. My second stop is going to be Montmartre and I'm going to visit the Sacré Coeur where from the bell tower I'm told that you can see all of the city of Paris. And finally I'm going to stop at Notre Dame so be sure to stay tuned. Now if you just want to walk around and see the Arc de Triomphe from all its angles. You can do that um, on regular street level, but to get actually to it, this is a huge intersection. The traffic is insane, so you'll need to find one of these tunnels. It takes you under the street and pops you up at the Arc itself. very windy up here so if it's cold you're probably gonna be a little cold up here on top of the um, Arc de Triomphe but it's worth it it's a beautiful view up here yeah. and I'm going over to the side now where I can see the Eiffel Tower third time I've been to Paris I've never gone to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. I'm really really glad I did. It's one of the best views you're going to get of the Eiffel Tower short of being at the Eiffel Tower but it's a completely different view so definitely do it. So now I am headed for Montmartre and the Basilica of Sacré-Cœur. So as you saw, that guy did not want me to videotape that because they're a scam. You're gonna see all these street performers. Here's another one. And uh, you're gonna see them all up and down. This is, unfortunately, this part of Paris is the most known for scams and pickpockets. So keep your belongings close to you. Don't stop at any of those things. Now you can walk up the stairs in front of it, but I'm not going to. Over to the left is the funicular. So even on the funicular, they were warning you about pickpockets and there are signs everywhere. Like I said, it's a shame, but it's a fact of life. So you'll be okay. Just be vigilant and keep everything in your sight. You know, the bell ringer would have had to do this every day, I guess.
Well, that was a workout, as you can see from my red face. Um, especially after doing 300 steps at the Arc de Triomphe already. Um, but just a couple of things about that. A, it's a lot of steps. It's very tight, very um, short. I'd say in a couple of places there was maybe three or four inches above me and I'm five foot ten, so be careful if you're tall. If you have somebody in your party that's claustrophobic, there are places where it's really tight and dark and once you get part way up, there's really no turning back because you can't come down those steps. So just be extra sure before you get started that you really want to make it all the way to the top. I didn't talk inside Sacre Coeur because there was a service going on and so I just kind of did some filming and I think um, that that's probably why there was a little bit of a line because we were standing in line and then all of a sudden we just started going and everybody went in. So I think they must have been holding up letting people in until that service got to a certain point. And uh, there will be a small security check, so just know they're gonna check your bags. So now I'm just gonna walk around Mount Mater a little bit and I might find a place for lunch. down here and watching the artists at work Bye. seeing all their different styles a hat. Montmartre is such a fun place to walk through and it's become quite touristy but that's okay it's kind of touristy in a fun way. It's a great place to try a little sidewalk cafe, buy a painting if you want a souvenir from France. There's some really talented artists there. I'm headed back towards the um, Sacre Coeur and I'm gonna get some more pictures from there and then I'm gonna hop on the metro and head for Notre Dame. You can see now the vendors here on the steps trying to sell their little Paris wares. These guys aren't too bad, they're not too aggressive. This is another scam, they come up asking you to sign a petition and then they ask you for money. Nope. So the ones with the petition, they play on your, your guilt. I don't even, it doesn't even matter what it's for because it's totally bogus and think about it. If you're a foreigner and you're signing a petition, your signature's probably no good anyway. But they try to get you to sign it and then they beg you for money after you've done that. So just walk on by them. You can see the remnants of the guys trying to sell the bracelets here. Uh, this is one of them, he's not gonna get me. So I really enjoyed my time in Montmartre today. I'm walking down the hill um, on the street directly in front of Sacre Coeur. I'm not sure what the name of the street is. And the names of the streets are kind of hard to find here. But um, I'm going back to get on the subway and I'm going to head over to Notre Dame and go inside. I don't think today I'm going to do the steps because my legs have had it. I've already done over 600 steps today. And there are usually multiple ways to get out of each subway station and if you go out the wrong one you could end up a block or two away from where you intended to be so just look for those brown signs here's another one and then you know that you're going the right direction <laughs> 